How do you compute and file your VAT? Value-added tax is one of the most common type of tax in the Philippines. Whether buying a pizza, a gadget, or even getting a parlor service, you would find a portion of VAT on your receipt. Your VAT payable is computed by deducting your input tax from your output tax. The output tax is the VAT you charge to your ordinary consumers or other businesses buying your goods or services if you are VAT registered, while the input tax is the VAT you pay whenever you are buying certain VAT-eligible goods from a manufacturer or supplier. Lastly, VAT payable is the liability you owe that you need to settle every month or quarter to the Tax Bureau or the Bureau of Internal Revenue for Philippine Settings. When filing and pay your monthly and quarterly VAT, do keep this in mind. That you can file your VAT through the BIR system either by EFPS or EBIR using the BIR form 2550M for the monthly filing and 2550Q for the quarterly filing. Then you pay through EFPS, Credited Asian Bank, or other online payment partners like Paymaya, Land Bank, Union Bank, or GCash. The, the deadline for filing your VAT monthly is on the 20th day following the end of each collection month. Then quarterly filing is due every 25th day after the close of the taxable quarter. Businesses that decide to use the EFPS have slightly later deadlines based on which industry their business belongs to. Take note that for the quarterly, you declare the transactions for the three months, but you deduct the previous two months' payment to get the VAT payable for the quarter. Still catching up? Keep in mind that you need to include an additional attachment for the quarterly VAT, which is the summary list of sales and purchases and summary list of importations if your business has any. Handling VAT returns both monthly and quarterly can be quite tedious for new business owners. Thus, professionals are ready to help if you need one. Ready to get started? Contact us today for a free 30-minute business consultation.